Google has signed a deal to harness nuclear power to fuel their AI data centers. So why nuclear? And what does this mean for the future of tech? Let's get into it. Data centers, like the ones that power Google's vast AI infrastructure, need a massive amount of energy, and it needs to be reliable. With AI and cloud computing growing, the demand for energy is skyrocketing. Google already uses renewable sources like solar and wind, but these energy sources aren't available 24-7, and that's where nuclear power comes in. Nuclear energy offers something that wind and solar can't, round-the-clock, carbon-free energy. While nuclear energy has had a controversial past, it's one of the most consistent and efficient sources of clean power available today. And here's where Google is pushing the envelope. They're partnering with Kairos Power to use small modular reactors, or SMRs. So, what's special about these SMRs? Well, traditional nuclear power plants are huge. Some generate over 1,000 megawatts of power. SMRs, on the other hand, are much smaller and can generate power on a scale of about 50 to 75 megawatts. This smaller size makes them more flexible, quicker to build, and safer to operate. The first SMR that Kairos is building for Google is expected to have enough power to power a mid-sized city, or a large Google data center campus. Now, if you're wondering why Google is betting on nuclear energy, it's simple. AI needs power, and lots of it. Google is aiming for 24-7 clean energy to meet the demand, and traditional renewables alone won't cut it. One other cool aspect? Kairos Power's reactors use a molten salt cooling system rather than water, which traditional reactors use. This design allows for lower pressure operations, making them inherently safer. Lower pressure means that in the unlikely event of an accident, you won't get the same kind of dangerous releases you might see from older high pressure reactors. But as exciting as this sounds, this won't happen overnight. The first reactor is expected to come online by 2030 with more reactors following by 2035. It's a long-term play, but the potential for revolutionizing both the tech and energy sectors is massive. So, what does all this mean for the future of tech and energy? Well, Google's move is signaling that the energy landscape is evolving to meet the needs of AI and cloud computing, industries that are growing exponentially. Nuclear power, and specifically these small modular reactors, could be the key to unlocking a clean energy future for tech companies worldwide. What do you think? Could this be the start of a nuclear-powered tech revolution? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on how tech is shaping our future.